Hello, my name is Madalina. Welcome to another one of Wild Dreams tutorials. Today we are going to show on a Grove LCD the temperature from different cities taken from the internet. What we need for that is a Raspberry Pi, a Grove LCD and jumper wires. The Grove LCD connects to the Raspberry Pi using the I2C pins. The first pin is the ground one and it goes into the ground pin or the zero volt pin of the Raspberry Pi. The second one is the power pin. We connect this pin to the five volt pin of the Raspberry Pi. The last two ones are the SDA and SCL pins. These two connect to the I2C pins of the Raspberry Pi. To see the layout of the pins on the board, we go to Wild Jeans page, click on Tutorials, and on the left side we will see pins layout for the Raspberry Pi. We click on it, and here we can see clearly where the 5 volts pin are, also the ground pin, and on the left side we see pin 8 and pin 9. These two are the I2C pins of the Raspberry Pi. We will connect the SDA pin from the Grove LCD, LCD to the pin 8. The SCL will be connected to the pin 9 from the Raspberry Pi. Now for the coding part, we go back to Wild Origins page and create a new project. We can call it LCD Temp and make sure it's in visual programming. We enter the project and as usual we can delete the block that's already on the screen. To get the temperature we can simply go to Internet on the left side, choose Weather, and the first block says Get Temperature From City. We drag this block, and inside the quotes, we write the name of the city. Let's choose Paris, for example, and it will make it easier if we choose a variable to put it in. For that we go to program, choose variables and we will set item to the value that we get from this block. Let's not name it item, let's say it will be Paris. Click OK. Now we assigned the temperature from Paris to a variable called Paris. Let's show it on the LCD's display. For that, we go to Grove, scroll until we find LCD, and here we have the first block that says initiate LCD with two rows and 16 columns. We use this one and to turn the LCD on, we go back to LCD, choose the fifth block that says turn LCD on. And now let's just print the value. We go to print on LCD, which is a third block. And instead of the text box here that we delete because we don't need, we put our variable that is back in program variables Paris. We drag it inside the block and here we have the first part of our code. We just need to run the project and wait for the numbers to be shown on our LCD. Okay, good. Now, we can get more than one temperature at once, so we can simply click on this block, right-click and choose dupli Duplicate, make a new variable, 
For example, what do you want? Let's say London. Instead of Paris, of course, inside the get temperature block, we write London. We can do the same for one more city. Mm, Tokyo. We change the city. And we can also duplicate the block for the printing part. And replace Paris with London for once and then Tokyo. If we leave the code like this, all three temperatures will be shown on the first row of the LCD display. So we won't be able to see clearly which one is which. So to make it easier to read, we can just insert a new print on LCD block that will stand for this space. So we go back to LCD and choose print on LCD. We put it between the first two. We just press space. And let's show the temperature from Tokyo on the second row. For that, we just need to go to LCD in row. And the third block says set cursor at the number of the row and the number of the column. We drag this here. We say that we want the next row, so we put zero because the first ones are aligned at the zero row and zero column, which means it will start from the left to the right. Okay, now we will have the temperature from Tokyo shown on the first row which comes after row zero, where we find the temperature from Paris and the temperature from London. Let's just run again the project and see how good we did. Now, if we want to make things more interesting, we can also add colors to our LCD. For that, we just go to LCD in Grove, set LED color to. Let's just choose one of the cities and change the color of the LCD uh, depending on how high the temperature is. For, let's do this for London, for example. We need a condition that we find in program and logic. The first block says if do. We can add three options. Set the LCD to blue if the temperature is less than zero degrees we can make it yellow if the temperature is between 0 and 30 degrees and red if it's more than 30 degrees. Here we have just one option. So we go and click on the star. We add else if and else. Now we can put three conditions. First goes if, second else if, third else. We click on the star again to make the pop-up disappear and say if here we need the condition temperature from Paris is less than zero degrees. 
we go to logic again, choose the second block. Here we will put the sign for less than. So we drag this block and tie it to the if condition. Inside we put the parameters, which are our variables. Paris, we said. Less or equal to. And zero, we find in numbers in math. First block is a number. We drag it here. Now we have our first condition. If the temperature from Paris is less than zero, we want to set our LCD color to, and instead of red, we click on it. We see the panel of colors, and we just choose one of them, blue. Else if, the, if the temperature is more than zero and less than 30, for that, we need a block that ties together two different conditions. This block we find in program logic. Third block says end. We drag this block here. The first part of the condition is that the temperature from Paris is more than zero. I just duplicated this block and changed less than to more than. And the second part of the condition is, again by duplicating it, that the temperature from Paris is less or equal to 30 degrees. Then we can set the color of the LCD to yellow. If the temperature is neither less than zero nor between zero and 30, we want our LCD to be red because that means that the temperature is more than 30. Let's say we want blue. I'm sorry, no, we want red because it's hot. This is all we need to do. Now we just run the project and see what color will the LCD be. Okay, in Paris, we have less than 30, more than zero. So our display is now yellow. This is all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. If you did like it, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.